Hey folks, we've got a range of our most popular quick pitch tearing test setup behind me here today, starting from the lightweight and affordable right through to the heavy duty canvas. I'm going to take you for a walkthrough. Let's check them out. Hit it. Hey folks, Ben from Snowy's here today in the Brown Hill Creek Caravan Park. Beautiful sunny day. This is a great spot if you want to base yourself somewhere to check out the Adelaide Hills. It's in Adelaide's leafy eastern suburbs. I've got the ultimate showdown here for you today between Coleman, Black Wolf and Oztent. These are all touring tents or camping and touring tents set up behind me here. They all have a quick pitch frame feature of some form and they all sleep around about four people. It's about 240 centimetres by 240 centimetres in sleeping space. I'll we'll start at this end with our most affordable and lightweight option which is the Common Instant Up Silver Series, and this is the four person version. This weighs in at about 12 kilos, so just over, and it's made with 150 denier polyester. The floor is a crinkly tarp type material or a polyethylene and the frame is a 20 millimeter steel frame. It's probably better suited just for general camping, but you can use it for a lightweight touring setup. You just need to be aware that it's not as durable as the canvas tents that you'll see at the end of this video. As we move on, there's another tent that sits in between here that we haven't got set up today, and that's the Australia Fast Frame Series. Shares similar materials to the tent we've just talked about to my right here, but it does have an upgraded floor with 150 denier polyester floor. And it also has an awning with it has a few more features on it. You can add side walls and front panels, and it comes at a slightly heavier weight at around about 15 kilos as well, just over. And moving on from that is the common instant up gold four person tent. Now there's a number of tents in the gold range. This one is sleeps four people. Now, slightly heavier in weight than the Silver Series at about 15 kilos. It's got better quality fabrics. It's a 75 denier polyester, lesser denier, but it's a much nicer fabric. It's got a poly Oxford floor, which doesn't have that crinkly feel. It's got a PVC coating, so it's a much heavier duty floor, but it does have the same frame at about a 20, mil 20 millimeter steel quick pitch frame. You do get extra poles with this tent here, so you can set this front awning as, up as a three pole awning with a peak in it. You can do the same thing with a removable awning. The features on the side of the tent there, that can actually be removed completely and placed on the other side of the tent. Moving on from this tent, there is another tent that kind of sits in between this one and the next one, which is called the Common Darkroom Series in tents. This also comes in a four person, very similar, almost identical to this tent here, apart from the fact that the fabric has got what's known as a darkroom coating on the back, which blocks out most of the light, and the vestibule on the front here is much larger. There's a brow pole that comes out here and gives you much more living space in the front of the tent. Much like the next tent in our series here, which has got a larger vestibule at the front here. Now the Dark room I just talked about, the common dark room weighs in at about 15 to 16 kilos. As we come up to the Black Wolf Turbo 240 X Lite LF here, our weight drops back down to about 14 kilos, but we do get a bit of extra durability out of that. It's made with 150 denier polyester exterior. The floor is a nice heavy duty 500 denier poly Oxford floor. And the frame is a combination of a 23 millimeter aluminium upright pole and some composite poles in the roof section, which gives it a nice small pack size. There's a unique awning, a unique vestibule at the front here where we've got access on this side. You can also access it on the other side and we can also set this front door up as a, a, um, an awning out the front here, similar to the common tents we just looked at. So this is quite a good balance between general camping while offering a lot of the durability you might need for four wheel drive touring. And moving on from that, we get up to the Black Wolf core range of turbo tents. Now, these guys are available in both light and canvas materials. Same tent, different materials. And about 19 to 24 kilos for the 240 version I've got here, but there is a whole range of options in the Turbo Tent series. The lightweight materials are 150 denier polyester with a 500 denier floor, but the canvas, which I've got set up here, is a 230 GSM ripstop poly cotton canvas with a 600 denier floor, so they're nice and durable. And the frame is also a 23 or a 25 millimeter aluminium frame. So these guys are made more for touring. They're a much heavier duty tent. You've also got a lot of options for these add-ons, side walls, front panels, extender awnings that you can put at the front. So you're really opening up your options when you get to the turbo tent range. Going on from that, there's a couple more tents that sit in between here that we haven't got set up today. The first one being the Oz Tent Oxley. Very similar to the turbo tent, similar in weights, both canvas and light materials are available in the Oxley tents as well. And they set up in a similar manner a slightly different mechanism in the way the pole or the frame sets up, but even the frame is a similar size aluminium. The awning out the front too, you can attach side panels to that to enclose that space. The one big benefit of the Oxleys is they have a heavy duty PVC floor, which adds a little bit of weight, but adds a whole lot more durability. 
Next one on from that, also not set up today, is the Explore Planet Earth Speedy Earth Tent. It's a lesser known tent that offers a lot of living space, but it is quite bulky and weighs in at about 26 kilos. Made from a canvas material as well, also with a heavy duty PVC floor. Probably a good tent for long-term stays if that's if that's what uh, you tend to do rather than a touring tent. And moving on from here is what I think is the ultimate touring tent for four-wheel drivers. This is the Oztent RV tent. Now this was the quickest tent to set up today. It's got a really quick pitch frame feature and you can have the whole thing set up, pegs and poles and everything in under five minutes, I reckon. Also made with a, a canvas, it's an eight ounce ripstop canvas and it has a nice heavy duty PVC floor and it's an extruded aluminium frame inside there. Weighs in at about 23 kilos. You can also get accessories for this, so you can enclose this front room. Um, you can set this up as a peak dawning if you like. There's a lot of options that you can add on to your Oztent RV tent. Now this is a single skin tent. It's the only single skin tent apart from the Speedy Earth tent that we've seen in the range here. So you can get condensation issues inside the tent, but there is an accessory called the Oztent Fly that you can add to it to mitigate those issues. There's one other tent I'm gonna mention in the range, and that is the Oztent RX series tents. Almost identical to the RV tent we see behind us here. There's an RX4 and an RX5. They're made with a slightly different material, a mod cotton canvas, um, which is a synthetic. The benefits of the RX series is it comes with all the accessories you need to fully enclose this front room here with a zip in floor, zip on side walls. It also has a nice big skylight for the main tent there. So there's a few extra features. Downside is the whole tent weighs about 35 kilos. So potentially a little bit heavy for tiering, but it's great once again for long stay camping. Now the one thing I haven't talked about so far is the pack size of all these tents, which is an important consideration depending on what vehicle you've got and also if you're trying to keep the weight of your vehicle down. Now, although the Oztent was my favorite tent in the range, you can see that it does pack up to a very long package here. It's about two meters long, so you're gonna need a roof rack or a trailer to transport that. This and the Black Wolf bags are made of a much heavier duty material than the common ones in front. And the Black Wolf ones here are much shorter, but they are quite sort of round and fat when they're packed up, but they're gonna be much easier to fit in the boot of an SUV or a station wagon. And moving up to the common Instant Up series here, much more compact, lighter weight bags. They're gonna fit in smaller cars much easier. Now we've got instructional setup as well as walkthrough videos for all of the tents you can see set up behind me here today. So jump on our website at snowies.com.au and check them all out. You'll also find them there at our lowest prices every day and we'll deliver just about anywhere in Australia for free. If you thought that video was useful, subscribe to our channel. We'll send you all of our latest and greatest information. Tell us which of these tents that you reckon is the best. Could be something different that's in the video. Let us know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.